Anyways, basically I'm turning into a woman. What's up? It is four o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get back on this gym grind. I uh, took like about a month off. Uh, my forearm was pretty messed up. Uh, it's been feeling a little bit better, but I just, I need to get back at it. I was at the gym three or four times over the past week or two, um, trying to get back into it. And I was going in the afternoons and stuff like that. And it just isn't working for me um, because I get, sometimes I get way too busy at work or something goes on with the family. And that was the whole reason why I did early mornings before. And um, I was trying other things, it just wasn't working. So today's the first day we're back on that early morning stuff. So. I think once I do this for a few days, I'll be back in the routine and I'll be good to go. <sighs> so almost to the gym, uh, and then we'll talk about uh, talk about some health stuff later on. So I sort of wanted to talk a little bit about health because I did a video early in the vlogs, the last set of vlogs earlier in the year, and was talking about a workout app that I use, and I got a lot of crap about, oh, you, look at you, you're working out, you're having a video about working out, blah blah blah. And, you know, I've gained a lot of weight over the like, seven and a half years. A lot of it stems, the majority of it stems from one thing that happened after we moved down to Tennessee. Um, we moved to Tennessee, it'll be eight years in October. So this is about seven years ago now that I got diagnosed with cancer. It was a very odd way to get diagnosed with cancer. Um, I can smile and sort of laugh about it now because I've been cancer free for about that long. I was, I, I had this cough that I'd always get once a year and I would go to the doctor, they could never figure out what it was. I was having that cough again. A few days before, Howard, my pug, had like stepped on my lap wrong and sort of it hit me in the balls and my balls were killing me and it was a couple days later so I was like well I'm at the doctor I might as well bring it up and I'm like hey you know this has been killing me blah 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 my dog stepped on it they're like well let's get you an ultrasound so I had an ultrasound and then I mean long story short within two days I was having surgery to remove one of my testicles so not a super easy conversation to have with you guys but you know it is what it is um, the painful pardon the pun part of it was that i didn't the person the doctor that i was seeing didn't explain properly what the procedure was my impression was i was going in for a biopsy and they were going to see if it was cancerous and then take it out type of thing and i went to the hospital the night before the surgery which like i said was like two days later and the the lady started explaining the procedure and i'm like uh what and she's like, yeah, you know, we're taking, we're taking that out and blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, holy shit, I didn't, I didn't expect that. You know, that was a rough night. And, you know, thankfully I have my wife always knows the right things to do and say and whatever. So, you know, everything's been fine. Obviously we've had two kids since then. And, and, you know, that type of thing that everybody's thinking of right now has been perfectly fine. You lose an, uh, a, a lot of the ability to produce testosterone when you have this type of surgery, uh, well, this type of surgery from this type of cancer. So uh, for quite a few years, every couple months, every six months, I had to go in and, and be uh, checked out, you know, make sure I wasn't, I didn't, the cancer hadn't popped back up. It was uh, a bunch of cancer, some very aggressive, but luckily nothing, nothing spread. I didn't have to have chemo, no radiation, nothing like that. So that was good. The side effect, obviously, of having that is now I need, now it's been years, everything's good. I couldn't do testosterone replacement therapy too early on because of that type of cancer. Years later, I'm able to do it. Pretty much fast forward to now. And I've, I, I tried testosterone replacement last year. It didn't really work too well, but I was sort of banking on it, just fixing everything, and that was it. This year, I started working out for about three months straight before I went to the doctor and talked to them again about testosterone replacement. I've been on it for, it's been about three months now since I started going back on it. Just went back for blood work and everything uh, last week and my follow-up appointment was yesterday. And my testosterone levels have dropped from when I went in the first time to get 
back on testosterone. Um, so basically what that means is uh, the doctor thinks that the testosterone that I'm taking is getting transferred into estrogen. And if you don't know what that is, that's a female hormone because your body can only take so much and then it, you know, it turns it into blah, blah, blah. So anyways, basically I'm turning into a woman. So I need some type of medicine to counteract that so that the testosterone stays in your body and actually produces and does the job testosterone should do. Now I'm on, it's a, it's a medicine that once you take the testosterone, I, I take my shot and then a few days later, I take this pill. And what it does is make sure the testosterone stays as testosterone and doesn't get converted to estrogen. So her thought was that one, I can't, I haven't been able to lose weight at all. No matter what I do, I either plateau, and this has been from the beginning, is even if I lose weight, I'll plateau and then the weight comes back, no, no matter what I do, um, without, you know, without being dramatic and doing something crazy, you know, some crazy diet or whatever, but just even watching what I'm eating, exercising, all that stuff just does nothing. The testosterone should help that. But I think, like I said, my testosterone level went down 100 points um, from where it should be, or where it was, two or three, maybe 400 points below what it should be. Then it dropped 100 points while I've been taking the testosterone replacement. So obviously there's something going on. So this should help. Um, and I know some people that are on testosterone replacement and they said that the medicines that I got are really, really good. A lot of doctors like try all this other crap before they get to the good stuff and then I got the good stuff right away. So that's, that's a bonus. I take a B12 vitamin every single day, a vitamin D pill once a week. I take my injection, testosterone injection once a week. Uh, I have that pretty much an estrogen blocker once a week, three days after I take my injection. And then I'm also on like, I don't know what, what it would be called other than a diet pill. It's also a pill that I take once a day. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it does. I'm assuming it boosts your metabolism and gets things going like that. So I should, I'm hoping that I'll start seeing results soon. Uh, now I used to go I usually go for blood work every three months with this and now she's got me coming six weeks after this one to make sure that I'm on track and things are actually looking good blood work wise and all that kind of stuff so I'm hoping after today I'll, I'll start seeing you know I'm not actually after today but starting today I hope I'm you know I'll, I'll, I'll have this 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 day as a line and say okay this is the first day and hopefully, you know, the week's coming, uh, I'll start seeing better results. So fingers crossed. Hopefully I didn't freak too many people out with this vlog, but uh, I've said this before on Twitter when I've posted some things that, I don't know, just try to be as real as I possibly can. Obviously you don't see everything in these vlogs. If it's going on and it's sort of a big deal with me, then I'm gonna try to share it if it's shareable. And this is one most people know or knew that I've had cancer and I've had issues. I've made jokes about it on online, on Twitter and stuff. Aside from the health thing and, and my medicine and me turning into a woman, something cool came into the office today. There's a box back there. I don't know if you can see it, but very unexpected. So that's from Think Geek. So I'll crack that open when we get, actually I already opened it, but I'll show you guys what it is later on. A few moments later. This is a very unique gift for a geeky person. Thor hammer. So very cool. Really what it is, is a tool set. This is the hammer. This is the handle for the real hammer. Mighty Thor's Mjolnir tool set. As guardian hammer tool set. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> this is, I don't care, this is cool. Here's the hammer, pretty cool. Regular claw hammer. You got tape measure. It looks like sort of like lineman pliers. You got an adjustable wrench here. You got a little screwdriver with interchangeable tips on it there. Over on this side, you got the little miniature pocket knife, uh, utility knife thingamabob. Got a little quarter inch extension, some quarter inch sockets, quarter inch sockets with flathead and Phillips screws on them. You have your ratchet, your extension uh, for the screwdriver, sockets, sockets. That's it. Just a cool little handy tool set. And I mean, Mjolnir tool set. 
I think it's cool. That's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can hit the thumbs up button. You can hit the bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of the uploads. And uh, that's gonna be it. I will talk to you guys in the next one.